Defeated Tim Zhu. So welcome, Tim. Well, firstly, we'll start with you, Timmy. Um, it's been a really tumultuous few months for you. Right now, you would have expected to be the undisputed world champion. How did you cope that was that whirlwind that, that went down in, in Las Vegas? Oh, look, it's in, in reality, uh, it's just a small little, small little roadblock. Um, I stayed focused, stayed in the gym, uh, stayed with my team, and uh, yeah, just kept the grind going. You know, the, the goal never stops. Every day you've got to wake up and, and have something to fight for. And yeah, it just, it just never stopped for me. And, and that disappointment, obviously, there was some sort of level of disappointment when you hear that's off. How long did it take for you to get over that? Like you said, this is not uncommon in boxing, it happens quite often. Was yeah. it immediate? Uh, look, the next day I thought, you know what, this, this is part of, part of boxing. This, thing, this, this stuff happens. Um, the main thing is focus never changed, you know, and um, they were trying to find opponents and whatever, whatever the promoters, managers were doing, I just remained focused, uh, completely in my own zone, and I'm glad this fight got made. Well, the last time you were here in this arena, you defeated Takeshi Inoue, and that was your last fight in Australia. How excited are you about returning to this arena in fighting in what's going to be mm. a very, very parochial crowd? Yeah, just coming in first today, just look, looking around, uh, it brings back uh, definitely some good memories. Um, and, you know, just looking at the poster and the, and the magnitude of this event, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I'm, and I'm, gra I'm very gracious that uh, I've got uh, a big opponent in front of me, a name that, that I've always... that I've, I need in my career. And, and like George said, like, this is seen as a, a big risk. I mean, you were well within your rights to wait until Charlo's hand healed. You haven't done that, and it, which is an anomaly. Uh, you know, boxing uh, is littered with, with champions sidestepping each other until one's perhaps over the hill or it's better, suits better for the A side than the B side. You haven't done that. And you're, you're fighting the only man in history who's beaten Jamel Charlo. I know George alluded to it, but in your words, why? Uh, to be the man, you've got to do that, you know. And uh, I've came into this sport uh, not to, not like to just... Uh, muck around but to, to really take over well look he, tony's loves talking we, we've heard some of that and he's already had yeah. some pretty frank words about you he's called you basic nothing special like someone he'd seen in the park and what's your reaction to those comments is, is he underestimating you oh for sure um i've been in the ring and um a lot of people say a lot of things it wouldn't be the first time someone said the same thing that he said um but when they get in the ring it's a, it's a different it's a it's a dog fight in there so um, talk is cheaper. Uh, actions speak louder than words. So, my my main focus is is to to focus when the when the fight gets on. All right. Well, so we've heard from Timmy now. Tony, firstly, can you react to what you've heard Tim just say? Your reactions. I I like Timmy. I, I like him. I like Timmy. I like Timmy a lot, actually. So you know. Hey Timmy, can we are we gonna be friends like this this whole little press conference thing? Cause it's like, please let me know, man. Cause I just want to be friends, you know what I mean? But I really do like Timmy. I like Timmy. I like I like I like the people around him. I like his management. I like I like everything, man. I, I like I like that he could he definitely could have took an easier fight, which he was already lined up with an easier fight. I don't know why they're making it seem like he didn't have an easier fight in front of him. But, you know, for him to say yes to a guy like me, man, he, he, he woke me up out of the dead, man. So get, this is me hugging you, Tim. <laughs> so, Tony, I'm you... hugging you, man, because you, you, you... I'll be punching you back, me, you, you, brought me, you, you brought me back to life, Tim. And, and... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm hugging you right now. This is not the time to fight. We... So, look, we, Tony, we, Tony, you are on, a former man. world champion. Uh, you're, the only uh, man. you're the only man to have beaten Jamel Charlo. Do you think... Yeah, obviously, you're very um, appreciative of Tim taking this fight, but do you think he's made a mistake or is he crazy for taking this fight? Where, of course. Where... That's I think we got to... I, I think we need, to, we, need to get, we need to get management on the phone. I, I, need, I think we need, to, we need to talk to management because, like, for him to be at the doorstep for, for all the marbles... And you accept the fight with the only man to beat the man that you're looking to beat. I think we need to talk to management about this one, man. We need to go to HR. Well, we're HR. I need to call HR because 
some, some, something ain't right about this one. You know what I mean? Something ain't right, but listen to me. I, I'm not mad about it, because I'm on the other end of the stick, right? So I'm not mad about it, but the only man I'm chasing is the only man he chasing, right? So I think we got something in common. He chasing the same man I'm chasing, right? And to that the only point... only way for me to get there, though, is this, to fight Timmy. And this, this is, we've said, is a, is a risk for Tim. Um, he will call it a calculated risk, but it's also, as you've just alluded to, a huge of opportunity for you. Um, Tim is undefeated, and he did earn that undisputed world title shot, and there's... Some real hype on his name around the world. I ain't gonna say all that. I ain't gonna say all that. Okay. Well, talk us I, what I this fight means for that, your though. career. What I ain't gonna this, say all that. What does this mean for your career? I, it's everything for me, man. It's like the same thing he chasing, the same thing I'm chasing. The same man that he looking for is the same man I've been looking for, man. Like, like I, what's crazy is he got his blinders up trying to get to me when I'm trying to get to him, right? He don't got his blinders up for Tim. You know what I mean? So, for me, man, I I swear, man, like me, I'm really hugging Tim because without Tim, it, it, it was no other possible way I probably would have ever got the opportunity to get back to the fight that I want. So, for Tim to take this fight in Australia and for me to go to Australia, man, listen to me. Tim, I want to be friends. I just want to be friends, Tim. I want you to show me around. Everything. We, we, I just want to be friends, man. I just want to be friends. You, you a legend, man. You a legend in Australia. I want to be friends. All right, Tony, uh, you haven't fought outside the USA in more than a decade, and is there anything that's daunting for you to come thousands of miles across the Pacific to fight here in a crowd that's going to be heavily behind Tim? Are you daunted by that? Nah, I'm from Detroit, right? So you saying daunting. Like, I don't even know what that means. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of enlighten me a little bit. Like, talk to me a little bit about that. All right, so we've heard from both fighters. Timmy, have you got any reaction? He's obviously being very congenial yeah. here. Have you got any reactions to, well, to look, Tony's uh, words? No, no, I, I, no, I no kisses I and hugs I, from I, me I wasn't on done. my side. But, um, yeah, good luck, bro, and uh, I'll see you in, in Sydney. All right, I'm going to open up to, to the media now to uh, ask any questions of uh, both Tony and, all, and also Tim. Katie Kay from Fox Sports News. Um, Timmy, I know that you've wanted to prove to everybody that you belong on this stage and at this level for many, many years now. How important is it to you personally now that it's right there to make sure that here in front of your home crowd, in front of a guy that seems to look past you, that you prove that you are the, are the guy? Yeah, this is, this is the name that, that I need. This is the, the name that uh, 20, 21 fights into, into my resume. Uh, this, is, this is the one that I need to, to wake all those boys up. Tony, um, you've already proven that you belong at the elite level, that you can beat um, the best fighters. When you look at Tim, and it seems like Charlo was the same, you both seem to look past him. What is it about him that you think makes him not belong here yet? Well, I don't look past nobody that know how to fight, man. I, I'm, I'm definitely not knocking. Like, I'm, I'm in, like I told everybody, I'm in, a, I'm in a real fight, right? Anybody that steps in around, I'm in a real fight. So I'm, I'm definitely not knocking Tim. Tim's ability to come in and fight. You know what I mean? I'm in, I'm in a real fight, but I think the money behind him, the name behind him, I, I'm, I mean, it, it's so many people that I can put in front of Tim to say they need a title shot at Jamel Charlo than, than Tim Tzu. He Tim, to me, just hasn't accomplished or fought anybody or done anything. You know what I mean? So. They they just they just really just put the money up and, and put him right there, you know what I mean? But he's definitely a tough fighter. I'm not knocking him being tough, but my thing is when you look at my role and the things I had to do and the things that I and the, and, the, and the obstacles I had to jump over, I'm, I mean he took the elevator, I took the stairs. So I'm just like, how did he get there? You know what I mean? Not like you, somebody just make it make sense to me. How did he get there? Well, I think from an Australian perspective, he cleaned out his own backyard and. Um... Obviously, when you come up against a young, hungry champion, that's a risk in itself. For you, you may not get another um, shot at, right. at fighting right. for all these belts again. So there's a lot on the line for both of you. I agree. I totally agree. But, you know, for me, I'm just like, he beat everybody in his backyard. You know how big his backyard is? I don't know if y'all can see me right now. Can y'all see me? This is how big his backyard is. You know how big the backyard that, I, that I'm fighting in is? Somebody next to me just said it's bigger That's than the Detroit. That's right? So it's still... I'm, 
No, I, it is, but I'm talking about the United States. I, 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 didn't, I didn't beat everybody in Detroit. I, beat, I, I got there by fighting the guys in the United States, not Detroit. Don't get it twisted now. The, talent, the, 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 the pool of talent in, from Detroit and Australia, come on now. Come on now. Let come him, on now, y'all. Come, 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 come on now, y'all. I'm, I'm just are. real, man. Yeah, I, I just... I'm just. I'm just real. See, I'm not talking, man. See, <laughs> see y'all think I'm jiving, man. See, I'm not even jiving. I'm just being real. I'm not. I'm just not jiving. I'm just being real with you, Tim. I'm just saying, like, the pool of fighters from Australia and the pool of fighters from the United States, the pool is different, man. You know that. Yeah, and look, you know I, 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 I completely real, agree I, to you that. You come over here to get the work, man. But. That's all. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm not jiving nobody. I'm not talking shit. I'm, I'm just talk, I'm just really being real with it. I'm being honest. We've got another question? Yep. Jamie Pandaren from the Daily Telegraph. Tony, you've spoken about not being impressed with his skill level. Um, what in particular do you think he falls short in, in skill? I, I mean, to be honest, like, what part of skill that you, that you, that you're impressed with? To be honest, like, that's, that's, that's my kind of thing. Like, Tim is a tough guy, man. He's tough, right? So I, I don't take nothing away from Tim being tough. But skill, I, I like, what part of, well, you know, when we talk about skill, like, I, I mean, I, I mean, what y'all look at, what I look at probably just is two different things, you know what I mean? But Tim is literally top of the line. When you say top of the, top of the, the, the food chain when it comes to toughness, Tim is up there. Tim, do you feel as though you are going to expose his belief that he'll that you'll fall short in the skill department and the experience department in this fight? Oh look, um, boxing is not just about skills. There's a lot, there's a lot more involved. You know, um, it's an all-rounded game. And I agree. Um, he might think he, I'm lacking skills, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm not here for a debating contest to, to say whether how good my skills are or how bad my skills are. I just got to show it. It's quite simple. So, one more question. Yep. Bingo. Adrian Prozenko from the Sydney Morning Herald. Tony, we all expected that the, the Zhu Chavo fight was going to go ahead recently. If that had gone ahead, who would have won? <laughs> ah, Charlo, easy. Charlo, I, I just think um, the preparation for Charlo was just, it was, it was set up. Like, it was, it was set up almost kind of like it was set up for Tim to almost be successful to not even, all, like, not to be successful, but, you know, just like the matchup with Tim and, Tim and Terrell, you know, it was just like, it was fan friendly. That, that, that matchup was just fan friendly. But for, for Charlo to be coming off fighting Castano twice in a row, Tim has the exact similar style of Castano. They both come forward, they both tough, they both aggressive, they both throw tons of punches. They both line up real, like, like on, a, on a height scale the same, reach scale is damn near the same. So I just thought Charlo had already fought Castano twice and he would have been fighting Castano a third time. So I just thought Charlo would have won easy. Tim, your reaction to that? Well, in, in me and Castano are completely different. He's, uh, he's much smaller, first of all, uh, skill-wise and um, ability, we're, we're completely different. And um, in terms of the Charlo Castano fight, I think uh, Castano won the first fight. Um, so, look, I, I can't really say. I've got not much so. to say, man. I'm, I'm a man of few words. Um, I'll let Harrison do the talking. All right, before we, uh, before we wrap it up here, we get got uh, the final comments from you, Tony, before we leave you. Any final thoughts? before you come to Australia to fight Tim Zhu? Like I said, I, I want to tell Tim, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity for waking the dead up, man. I, 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 only, I can't remember the last time I've been this motivated, man. This motivated to take a fight, this motivated to train, this motivated to run, this motivated to shadow box, hit the bag. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not leaving no stone unturned fighting Tim. You know what I mean? So he think I'm taking him lightly or he think I'm jumping ship. Like, I've I'm, I'm training harder than I was for any Charlo fight than I, that, that I'm as, as, as I'm training right now. So just telling Tim that if he was expecting to fight anybody else, that's cool. Be motivated, though. Like, be motivated because I'm motivated. You know what I mean? And when I'm motivated, I'm a bad man. So I just need him to be motivated. And I promised the man before I passed, 
that I was going to get some stuff back. And I wasn't going to go back to the same person that I was five years ago. But for Tim, March 12th, I'm going to make an exception. Tim, final thoughts, mate? Yeah, just saying uh, good. Good that he's motivated and that he, uh, he's feeling good. Um, make sure that there's no excuses come uh, 12th of March. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we thank Tony Harrison from Detroit. Thank you, mate. And also Tim Zhu. Thank you. So, Sunday, March 12th, here, live on pay-per-view in Australia on main event in America, available on Showtime. Ringside floor seats and hospitality pre-sale begins at 3 p.m. today. So go to nolimitboxing.com.au to sign up for instant access to tickets. All other tickets available through pre-sale on Friday at 9am and 3pm to the general public. So go to nolimitboxing.com.au to sign up for access. So look, thank you all for joining us in uh, for what's going to be a monumental fight on Sunday, March 12. So it's goodbye from us here in Sydney. On Fox Sports, I'm Matt.